The front runner is someone who is leading a competition, okay? So when there's a competition happening, whether it's a sports competition, a politics competition, anything, any kind of competition, before it's over, the people that are leading that race, they are the front runner. The first thing I think of when I think of front runner, I always think of politics, right? Every four years in America, we have to elect a new president. Every five years in Korea, you have to elect a new president. Whoever's leading, whoever's more popular, they're usually the front runner. Another example I would use is if there's a competition, maybe there's a racing competition and it's over a very long time, maybe a marathon, right? The person who's been leading the longest, they're the front runner. Absolutely. Another way where you, we can use front runner is like a competition, like an audition competition, maybe like a singing competition. Oh, she's the best singer. She's definitely the front runner. Another example that I can think of is if I start a company and I'm trying to hire maybe two people, but 200 people come in because they all really want this job, the top maybe 10 people, those are the front runners. Those are the only people I'm considering. There is an expression that I heard, which is shoo-in. Can you explain what shoo-in means and the difference between front runner and shoo-in, please? A shoo-in is another kind of example that we can use for different competitions. Usually I think of when we're hiring for a job or even for a politics when we're electing somebody. A shoo-in is somebody who, even though they're competing against other people, we kind of think, oh yeah, they're going to win no matter what. No matter what, they're going to get the job. They can be a shoo-in for several different reasons. Maybe they're just so much better than the other people. Oh, they're a shoo-in. They're going to get the job. Or maybe they're applying at a company, but they know people that work at the company. Because they have these connections, uh, you know, they're a shoo-in. They're going to get the job. Is shoo-in a common expression? It's not so common that we're using it every day, but it's something that we use in very specific situations. Everyone knows what a shoo-in is. Great. Okay, any final word? If you guys keep studying English really hard, you'll be a front runner for whatever job you want in the entire world. Wow, that was really good. <laughs> All right, thanks, man. Look, look, English. 여러분들, 자 오늘도 돌아왔습니다. 자 오늘의 표현은 바로 뭐냐면요, front runner라는 표현입니다. 일단은 front라는 건 앞이잖아요. Runner 같은 경우는 달리는 선수를 말하는 거죠. 그러면 일단은 그냥 running race를 생각해 볼게요. Race에서 가장 앞에서 달리는 사람 뭐예요? Front runner가 되겠죠. 결국은 front runner라는 것은 어떤 경주에서 가장 앞서가는 사람을 말하는 겁니다. 근데 꼭 경주가 될 필요는 없어요. 그렇죠? 어떠한 컨테스트 요즘 보면요 TV에서 컨테스트 같은 거 되게 많이 하더라고요. 오디션이라고 하죠. 이 오디션 같은 프로그램을 보면요 자 가장 앞서가는 사람 있잖아요. 그런 친구한테 와우 wow, he's front runner 이렇게 말할 수 있다라는 것이죠. 그래서 front runner 같은 경우는 그런 식으로 사용하시면 되겠습니다. 자 그리고 제가 들어봤던 표현 중에 shoe in이라는 표현이 있는데요. 물론 많이 나오는 표현 아닙니다. 하지만 shoe in 같은 경우도 원어민들이 가끔 가다가 사용할 수 있는 표현이고 스포스픽한 상황에서는 어때요? 많이 사용하는 표현이에요. 물론 일상생활에 사용할 기회는 별로 없겠죠. 그래서 알고는 넘어가셔야 되는데 쉬인 같은 경우는 일단은 요 from o n 하고 차이점이 있는 게 누구나 생각하기에 걔는요 될수 있을 것 같고요. 명백한 거예요. 예를 들어서 자, he is a s h o i n for that job이라고 하면요. 그 직업에 얘는 확실하게 될것 같아요. 누구나 다 인정하는 거예요. 어, 그럴 때 s h o i n 이라는 표현을 사용할 수 있겠습니다. 알고만 넘어가시면 될것 같습니다. 알겠죠? Since the dean hand picks the guests right after their interviews, I'm a shoe in. Since the dean hand picks the guests right after their interviews, I'm a shoe in. Since the dean hand picks the guests right after their interviews, I'm a shoe in. Since the dean hand picks the guests right after their interviews, I'm a shoe in. Looks like we got a front runner. 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 And there's no denying Google oh. is a front runner. And there's no denying Google oh. is a front runner. And there's no denying Google oh. is a front runner. And there's no denying Google oh. is a front runner. And there's no denying Google oh. is a front runner. As you may be aware, Joe Biden has consistently been the Democratic frontrunner against President Trump in the 2020 presidential election. As you may be aware, Joe Biden has consistently been the Democratic frontrunner against President Trump in the 2020 presidential election. As you may be aware, Joe Biden has consistently been the Democratic frontrunner against President Trump in the 2020 presidential election. 
As you may be aware, Joe Biden has consistently been the Democratic frontrunner against President Trump in the 2020 presidential election. As you may be aware, Joe Biden has consistently been the Democratic frontrunner against President Trump in the 2020 presidential election. As you may be aware, Joe Biden has consistently been the Democratic frontrunner against President Trump in the 2020 presidential election. 자, 이렇게 해서 오늘 frontrunner, 그 다음에 슈인이라는 표현도 간단하게 살펴봤는데요. 꼭 기억하고 넘어가시고요. 여러분들, 열심히 영어 공부하잖아요? 그러면 나중에 직장 잡을 거 아니에요, 그쵸? 어플라이 할때 제가 보기엔 여러분들 그 직장에서 frontrunner가 될수 있을 거라고 생각을 합니다. 됐죠? 자, 그럼 우리 또 다음 시간에 뵙도록 하겠습니다. See you guys next time. Take care. Bye bye.